Welcome to this week's episode of UA Insider. Today, we'll tee off with the East Islip golf team led by senior Brian Allmendinger. Then we'll head to North Babylon to meet the leaders of the girls' soccer team. After that, we'll hop over to the Class 3 soccer champs at Hicksville. And finally, we'll meet the family that started Bayshore Gymnastics. Stay tuned, you're watching UA Insider. <laughs> You're watching UA Insider, the featured television show of Ultimate Athlete Magazine. I'm Jessica Peters and I'm here to present to you the most dedicated leaders in the world of Long Island high school sports. We'll kick things off with the East Ice of Golf Team at Timber Point Country Club. They are the league champs last year and this year they hold a lot of talent and promise as well. Like most of the sports that uh, that I coach and uh, the sports in East Islip, the kids work really hard. They put in a lot of time. Um, my kids golf all year round. Uh, we got Steve Simnetti. He actually started last year and is number two now. Um, got uh, Nick Mast, who's been on the team since he was in eighth grade. Uh, Tim Bishop, who was on the team when he was in seventh grade. Uh, Ryan Sanders and Ryan Scalcione. How well you do on the golf course sometimes it depends on the conditions. You know, most of the kids that uh, that we golf or all the teams we play are really good. So uh, the teams to beat obviously are Sable and uh, Bayport Blue Point, and uh, the rest of our schedule. You know, you go to golf courses that the kids don't play at a lot. So you know, it's what happens that day. We play pretty much whenever we can. Our goal obviously is to qualify for the playoffs. I don't really get to go away much, so when I can, it's it's good. Golf has brought me places that I have never been. Yeah, Brian's got a great worth ethic. He's a great kid. Um, he's got a lot of respect from the kids on the team. Uh, he works with uh, some of the young kids too. Um, he's just gotten better year after year. You know, his whole heart's in it. He wants to be the best he can be. And you know, that's really all you can ask for any of the kids. Obviously I want to do good for the team. You have to be, you have to be talented in any sport that you play in order to be really good. But um, you can work at this and get better and Brian's done that. Year after year, his, his scores have gotten better every year. Well, I, I swung the club every once in a while when I was like eight or nine, but I didn't really start until I was in eighth grade. Yes, Brian, he's gonna tell you he wants to play below par, but um, you know, last year he was tops in the league averaging uh, average stroke for nine holes, 39. So uh, his goal obviously is to do better than that this year. I was uh, all county two years and all league four years. I plan on playing golf. I don't know where yet. I would like to go somewhere down south, but um, not sure yet. Well, I know Brian would like to play when he goes to college. Um, he's, he's in the process of looking at schools still now. Um, it's tough, tough for the kids to move off the island and play. Yeah, it's, a, it's a lot, there's a lot of uh, choices for college coaches to pick from, but um, I believe he could do it. One of the reasons that I do love playing golf is because I get to uh, travel and it has brought me to Florida quite a bit and um, Virginia and pretty much everywhere on the East Coast. Uh, his, his father's a big golfer, his sister's on the girls team, so uh, you know, his, his, there's a lot of golfing in his family, but um, you, you have to work as hard as he works to be as good as he is. Stay tuned, there's plenty more UA Insider when we return as we head out with the Garden City football team. <laughs> 